So, good afternoon fellow YouTube viewers, Belch Johnny for another YouTube video. This is, recently on Monday, Apple did the um, WDC 2020. Usually it's at the start of June, because of all the COVID-19 stuff, they've put it towards the end of June. So here we'll look at, we'll look at iPad, we'll look at iOS 14, iPad OS 14, Mac OS Big Slur. Which has a, a, a bit, bit of a redesign on Watch OS 7. So you can watch the keynote here. We're going to learn more. We're going to learn more. So they've got there's four days of the recap. As you can see here, 100 percent and 100 plus engineering sessions. All new developer forums, 101 developer lab, labs by appointment, Apple Design Awards, conversations at WDC, and Apple TV. And you can download the app here. I'll download that. So you got sessions. Go and have a quick look. The new developer tools of S Code 12, Apple Silicon, and the Mac. So, this is big news. So, Apple are going to move away from Intel chips and they're going to be moving to like it's going to be more like um, so they're going to unify it more with um, the, uh, the iPhone and iPad lineup. So I wouldn't be the surprise the operating system would be similar to the same in the next few years or so and Intel will be a bit of history because they're going to drop support for Intel. New example code. Frameworks. All that interesting stuff. Forms, forums, I mean, develop of labs, one on one developer. So we'll go back, we'll go to, we'll go back home. We'll go back. Now we'll look at iOS 14. So there's a lot of features in this new version of iOS. As you can see, you've got a new background. We've got You get um, widgets on the home screen. You've got a new app library where the, it will just store all your applications in different folders so you can have easy access to all your applications. Um, and they've also got like app clips. So if you do like a QR code sort of thing or the... Or um, use the I think it's the Q oh, Q one chip. I think it's Q one, and um, you can use little little clips of apps without having to um download the full app like you had before. So it looks brand new, feels like home experience. So there have been redesigns to the uh, widgets. Is probably one of the big things putting dragging widgets around on the home screen, which is what Android have had originally for ages, but it's finally good that Apple is finally getting it and um, more customization to your iPhone, which is, I think, about time. Um, so you can see here, you can add, you can also add a, a smart stack of widgets. So, so it, it's cur curated based on apps you use the most. Um, you can select different widgets and it'll slip through different news stories. App library, which is a new feature. Let's replay it for you. Compact calls, 
So when you get a green, it'll pop up up there like that, which is people have been asking for for years. So you could be doing something on your iPhone that won't take it away. You can still um, do what you're doing and just slide up if you don't want to make contact. Picture and picture, which is a good, which would be good on FaceTime and you're watching Netflix and stuff on your phone. The iPad's had this for ages and people have been asking for the iPhone, which is good. Messages has been upgraded. So you can have pin conversations, as you can see here. You you can, you can do group photos, give your uh, group conversations visual identity by adding a photo or emoji or choose an emoji, as you can see right there. Mentions, so type a name to direct a message to someone. So you can say, so, so it's similar to Facebook comments. I'm um, pretty much, I'm guessing that's where they got the idea of this platform off. Um, you can now directly. You can reply directly to a simple message in a group conversation. You can review the replies in full conversation, as you can see here. New emoji styles and stickers. So when you get updates, so we've got one for COVID. We've got more exclusive on relig uh Yeah. You know. Hobbies and stuff. Maps has had a big upgrade. So you got cycling directions now, so you can, uh, um, Apple Maps now detects cycling um, directions using bike lanes, paths, roads. You can also see elevation, busy streets, stairs, steep stri uh, steep passages when planning your trip. Electric vehicle routing, so plan your trip with charging stations along the way, so as you can see here. Guys, Apple Maps editors have worked out with trusted brands and partners to offer guys for great places around the world to eat. So, so it recommends we uh, good places where to eat in certain. So if you're come, if you're visiting or you're on holiday, it's going to be handy for that. Translate, which is a new thing coming to iOS fourteen. So, so it's sim. This is simply Apple's version of um, Google Translate. So you can. Put it, type it in English and it will translate to um, whatever language you want to translate it to. And you can use, um, I'm pretty sure, you can use Siri. I'm pretty sure Siri is compatible with it. Um, sorry. So you got on device mode, you got favorites. Tension mode. Siri has had a big upgrade. So it has a new compact design. As you can see, it pops up in the little, just in the little bottom of the screen. Um, and the, and it just pops up as little notifications as 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 it has before with the notification center. Um, Siri has over twenty times more facts than just three years ago. Uh, web answers, so it has more access to more sources on the web. You can send audio messages through Siri now. Upgrades to the home app, so suggestive autom automation, home status, adaptive lighting. Activity zones, face recognition, Safari's had upgrades. Beta translation, so it has translation built into the to the web browser. Performance, so it's faster. Um, password monitoring, privacy report, car keys and and CarPlay. So car keys in wallet. So unlock your unlock and start your car with your iPhone. So it works at B and W. Share and manage keys. Sharing keys with friends or family is easy. You can customize controls and create restriction profiles. Perfect for new drivers. You can revoke and share keys temporary too. Works for even five, up to five hours, even after your five iPhone battery runs out. CarPlay. CarPlay has had a bit of an upgrade too. So CarPlay, CarPlay wallpaper and new app types. Choose from a set of wallpapers that look great. CarPlay, CarPlay also supports new app types, parking, electronic vehicle charging, and quick food ordering. AirPods. Spatial audio, bring surround wherever you go. Battery notifications, automatic switching. Headphone accommodation, audio sharing for Apple TV. App clips. Discover app clips, which is what I was talking about, is...
faster loading, easy and private, privacy, privacy information on the App Store, recording indicator, as you can see on the iPhone, um, upgraded to sign in with Apple, approximate location, and so much more. You got App Store, Apple Arcade, Augment Reality with uh, AR Kit 4, Camera, Game Center, Health, Notes, Photos, Reminders, and set and set a default email and browser browser apps with iOS 14. So you can set a third party app as default email or browser app system wide. About bloody time, which is good to see. Voice memos and weather. You can see a full list of what's new in iOS 14. So we'll, we'll have a quick look. So you get widgets, app library, compact UI, search, messages, memoji, maps, translate, Siri, so um, home, Safari, car keys, CarPlay, AirPods, app clips, privacy, accessibility, Apple Arcade, Augment Reality, FaceTime, Family, Files, Health. And it's quite big. So we'll go back. So iOS 14 is compatible with the same devices that can run iOS 13. So, so from you got to have an iPhone 6s and newer uh, up to the 11, and also an iPod Touch 7 generation. So, oops, sugar, just quit out of it. So my phone's going off. So I'm just gonna go back to the home screen, pause this video, and come back when I've turned it off. Okay, now let's, we've had a look at iOS 14, let's look, have a look at iPadOS 14 and see what it brings. So iPadOS. New possibilities only possible on the iPad. Experience. To take a full advantage of the large canvas iPad offers, core elements of the iPad OS experience have been redesigned and streamlined, so you can get a lot more, get more done, more easier than ever. So redesign widgets, similar to on the iPhone, but I don't think you can move it around on the home screen like you can on the iPhone, though, unfortunately. Apps design, so new enhancements like sidebars and pull-down menus let you quickly and easily access small functions from single locations without switching views. Search, so we've got a search. A more, a more compact search design lets you stay focused on your main task. So it's similar to our Mac OS. So I'm assuming eventually they're gonna, it's going to come together as, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised the iPad Pro will eventually replace the, um, the low-end MacBook, in my opinion. So compact call, so it's a similar feature from iOS on the iPad. Scribble, so with Scribble you can now, ha you don't have to, to put Apple Pencil away to do other things, now you can just write by hand in any text field across iPad OS, in your words, automatically convert to text. So automatic conversation, write in any field, uh, convert handwriting to type text automatically in any text field, scratch to delete, circle to select, Notes. Handwriting is a natural and fluent way to capture thoughts and ideas on the fly. With Apple Pencil and Notes, your handwritten notes are now as powerful as type as powerful as type text. Smart selection. Pasted handwriting as text. Shape recognition. Uh, data detectors. Augment reality. So we've got AR Kit Four. As you can see here. Messages. Pin conversations, group photos, inline replies, mentions, new emojis, new emoji styles and stickers, maps. So it has cycled, cycling directions, electric ve vehicle routing, guides, home, suggestive autom automations, um, home status, adaptive lighting. Um, activity zones, face recognition, safari, 
browse the web, browsing the web should feel fast, powerful, and private. So if iPad OS, Safari is more responsive and capable than ever while giving you new ways to help protect your privacy. So you got tra translation in, built into Safari, performance, privacy report, password monitoring. So it's the same as um the iOS version, but more sort of designed for iPad. AirPods, so spatial audio as talked before, battery notification, automatic switching between devices, headphone accommodations, audio sharing for Apple TV. Siri. Siri has a new vital way to get information and things done. And thanks to a new compact design, you can take advantage of everything Siri can do without losing your contact. So compact design in the corner. And the, the widgets pop up just... So different to the iPhone. The iPhone's more in the bottom and the centre, but it's in the right bottom corner. S Siri has over 20% more facts. Web answers. Send audio messages. Privacy. Privacy information on the App Store. Recording indicator. You see a little dot there. Upgrade to sign in with Apple. Approximate location. And so much more. App Clips, App Store, Apple Arcade, Game Center, Music, Notes, Photos, Reminders. Um, set to, you can set your own default email and browser apps, which is quite handy. More control to the user. App Voice Memos. So, supporting is from an iPad Air 2 and up. So, it's pretty much the same devices that are running iPad OS 13. So, we'll have a quick look at the new features again. So, you can see a run view. So you got widgets, redesign widgets, widgets in different sizes, widgets for everything, widgets gallery, smart stack, series suggestive widget, developer APIs, app design, redesign sidebars, toolbars, popovers, pull down menus, date picker, search, top hit results, quick launcher, compact UI, as you type search, search suggestion, in app search and web search, compact UI. Upgrades include phone calls, third party Vault calls, FaceTime calls, and Siri. Scribble, handwriting in any text field, scratch to delete, circle to select, touch and hold to add space, scribble shortcut palette, palette and Chinese support for scribble. Better note taken with Apple Pencil, smart selection dray to select, copy and paste as text, mark space. Da uh, data detectors, shape recognition, um, AR, AR kit depth, API, AR kit location anchors, AR kit extended face tracking support, reality kit video textures, reality kit improved objects, occlusion, messages, pin conversation up to nine pins, mentions, inline reply, set group photo. Memoji, new hairstyles, new headwear styles, new Memoji stickers, more expensive Memojis, more age options, face coverings, um, guides, cycling, electric vehicle routing, congestion zones, new maps available in more countries, home suggestive autom automation, home status, home control, adaptive lighting for smart light bulbs, face recognition for video cameras and doorbells, Activity zone for video cameras and doorbells, Safari, favorite cons in tabs by default, more tabs at once, web page translation, Website privacy report, password monitoring, performance, spatial audio, headphone accommodations, automatic device switching, battery notification, AirPods Pro Motion API, compact UI, um, web answers, at privacy, so privacy information. App tracking controls and transfer approximate location, limited photos, library access, recording indicator, upgrade to sign in with Apple, accessibility, voiceover recognition, voice uh, image descriptions, text recognition, screen recognition, 
headphone accommodations. And you got the app clips. It's all yeah, pretty much similar to iOS. Mac OS speaks to even though I don't have a Mac. Let's have a look. So it has a redesign interface, as you can see. Um, redesign. So it has the iPad um, style um, dock, translation menu bar. Um, yeah, very translucent. Doing it all in US. Okay, Mac OS Big Slur evaluates the most advanced desktop operating system in the world to a new level of power and beauty. Experience Mac to the fullest with a redefined new design. Enjoy the biggest Safari update ever. Discover new features of maps and messages and even get more transparency around your privacy. So it's coming this floor. Bold new new experience, say Mac Magic. Streamline apps. Refresh dock. Control center for Mac. Notification center. And redesign with widgets similar to the iPhone. The all new Safari, it's love at first sight, very streamlined. Uh, set a, cust, cust, a custom start page. Safari extensions in the Apple Store. Improved tab design. Translation, password monitoring, privacy report, increased performance by about 50%. And power efficiency up to three hours more streaming videos compared to Chrome and Firefox. Up to one hour more compared to Chrome and Firefox. Messages on the Mac, the ultimate conversation starter. So there's the new messages. Pin conversations, inline replies, group photos, mentions, images. So you can discover trending images and GIFs, instantly add to them to any message. Memoji, message effect. Okay. And find it, find it, whatever it is, faster, search, now organize your results into links, photos, highlights, matching terms, redesign maps, better ways to find your way, guide, discover new places to eat, shop, explore with curated guides from brands you love, create guides for your own favorite places and share them with friends and family. Cycling routes, electrical vehicle routing, look around, indoor maps, privacy information on App Store, more transparency than every download. The App Store has been redesigned. And even more. So editing in photos, AirPods, automatic device switching, home kit, secure video notifications, list the now, uh, deeper web knowledge for Siri, faster updates, see the full list. So it supports a MacBook 2015 and later, MacBook Air 2013 and later, MacBook Pro 2013 and later, Mac Mini 2014 and later, iMac 2014 and later. Mac Pro 2017 and later. Mac Pro 2013 and later. A lot of Macs that can probably run it, they, they just drop support for it, which is disappointing. Um, I'm joining the software beta program, which we'll, I'll do for this iPad. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll have a look at Watch OS 7. Then I'll end this video. So watch on watch OS 7. Take on the day, bring on the night. 
Watch faces. Everything you do on the Apple Watch starts with your watch face. With Watch OS 7, watch faces are even more cust customizable, powerful, and discoverable than ever. New faces to make your own. So you can so custom. See so all the custom watch faces, all from every app. Powerful new complications, as you can see on that that screen. Face sharing. Find faces in the app store. Get faces online. Sleep app. Sleep mode. At bedtime. Sleep chart. Sleep tracking. Alerts. Wind down. Wake up. Battery recharge. If your battery is below 30% near bedtime, you'll get a reminder to charge. If you charge after waking up, you'll get an iPhone notification when you're at 100%. Sleep in the health app. Fitness. So four new workouts give you an exercise partner with even more flexibility. And the activity app on iPhone has been redesigned and renamed Fitness. So new app features. In, so now you can actively track your fitness metrics for dance, functional strength training, core training, and even your post-workout cooldown. As you can see there. The joy of dance. Full, it's a full body workout that's good for your heart, makes you stronger, improves quarter, coordination. So dance like nobody's watching and get credit for it on your watch. Fitness app. More in tune with the ways you move. See all your data. Complete and share. Cycling in maps. So your watch already taps you on the wrist when it's time to turn. Make it great for bike rides and our maps has directions just for cyclists. Uh, bike friendly routes get rolling with maps that show elevation changes by bike, bike lanes and busy roads choose so route options choose the one that works for you fastest shape fastest short is all suggested search along your route know what's ahead hand washing keep your hands clean has never been more important with watch os 7 apple watch automatically detects when you begin washing and helps you to keep going for the amount of time recommended by global health organizations automatic detection using the, the motion sensor and microphone apple watch automatically detects hand washing and starts the 20 second timer 20 second recommendation if your watch detects that you stop washing your hands early it will encourage you to continue for the full 20 second home reminder apple watch can, rem can remind you to wash your hands when you get home Siri update. Siri is fundamental to the Apple Watch experience. You can do almost anything you watch hands-free just by asking. Now Siri can do even more faster. Siri translation. Trans translation languages. Siri on, on Apple Watch can translate into 10 languages on the device dictation. Siri shortcuts, hearing health, safe weekly listening notifications, uh, weekly listening summary, reduce loud sounds, watch OS 7 compatibility, watch OS requires iPhone 6 or later with iOS 14 or later, and one of the following Apple Watch models, Series 3, 4 and 5. So, so Series 1 and 2 have lost support. Okay. And so you can join the program. So, oh, so that's it from the um the from the WDC keynote. Or pretty much that's it. So yeah. So thank you for watching. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.